Hey guys, so I had a friend on Facebook say they had a e-bike that wasn't charging. They were getting rid of it. Anybody could have it if they wanted to fix it. So I got it and um, I want to show you what I've done. So originally when you plugged in the e-bike, the charger was just green. And of course you can see it's unplugged right now, but whenever I plugged in the bike, it stayed green, it never charged. So of course I looked up on the internet trying to figure out why, what to check. And everybody was saying it could either be the bad charger or it could be a bad battery. Now I've pulled this battery out and I pulled the cover off and everything because I love taking things apart. I don't recommend doing that. So batteries are dangerous, they can explode, leak, fire. So do this at your own risk, okay? So, but I wanna show you what I come up with and how I got it to charge and also how to test this charger. So charger's plugged in. Um, if you look at your charger, I just wanna show you, cause yours may be a little different. Right here, this is the tip. Outside is negative, inside is positive, and it's 42 volt DC voltage, one and a half amps, okay? So, what I did is I got some automotive bulbs. Actually, I had some automotive bulbs. Um, these are just little marker bulbs. I'll show you. These are just automotive marker bulbs, and they got these little tangs on them that bend out, and they are a standard incandescent bulb. They are not LED. You need incandescent. You don't want LED because LED won't pull a, the, a current, the same amount of current. These are 14 volts each. So I just divided the voltage and 14 volts a piece times four is a little more voltage than this charger can output. So that's safe, I won't burn bulbs up. So what I did was wired them all in series with these alligator clips I got from Harbor Freight. So I've got bulbs um, wired in one lead out the other. This is just the way Christmas lights, most of your Christmas lights are. But anyway, so when you do it this way, when you wire them in series, you're adding 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14, and that's a total voltage, and each bulb will be relatively pulling its proper current. Um, so, and I got a little nail here, and I'll show you how this works. So take your tip of your charger, and on my tip, as I said, the inside is positive, the outside is negative, okay? Right here? It's not very, it's not focusing right. So, what you're gonna do is take this little nail on this lead, and it's gonna go inside on the positive, and then you're gonna take the negative after it goes through all these bulbs and it comes back out this side, and then we're gonna attach this to the negative. Right here. And as you can see, all my bulbs, bulbs have lit up. Now that means my charger is working. It's, it's producing the correct voltage and it's producing a current. And as you can see, the light is red now. So it thinks it's charging the battery. So the charger is good. All right, so that's how you char check the charger. Now, let me pull this apart. I did some more research and what could be going on with this battery. And, you know, I was looking at it. I didn't, it has this little built-in 40 amp fuse, looks like. Some of you geeks know how all this works. But anyway, when you plug the charger in, of course, this is the side of the bike. I have it off because I checked all the wiring. It comes in here and this circuit board regulates the charging to each cell in this battery, okay? What I know now is this battery was so discharged that there was some kind of a low voltage cutoff and it was not allowing it to recharge. So this right here is like the back door of the battery, well, the front door or whatever. So this is charging port in and this is, you know, your current to your bike. So 
what I did was to try to give it a little voltage bypassing this circuit board, I wired it in as if it was a light bulb, except I only used one light bulb. At first I tried to jump it straight to negative and positive and the light just went out. It was too much current draw straight off the charger to the battery, obviously not being regulated. So I ended up taking one bulb in series to the positive in order to regulate, regulate it down, just trying to see if it would work. And so what you're gonna do is take your positive right here with your nail and go on the positive of your jack and it's going to go through one of these bulbs. We'll pull some of this out of the way so it's not confusing. All right. Okay. So positive through the bulb. Okay, like this. One on each wire. And I'm using this bulb as a regulator of sorts. And this is gonna to go to the positive on the battery. And I'm just clipping it inside this terminal. And then take your negative and it's gonna go straight to the negative on the charger jack. All right? Pop it on. Hang on. Like this. And as you can see, my bulb is lit up. And I left it that way for one or two minutes. Okay? Maybe two minutes. Now before, I've already charged this battery a little while, but this light's green. It was red before, okay? So then take this all apart. I had it on there one or two minutes. And essentially what I did was I had it wired in as if the battery was a bulb, uh, positive and negative wired through the battery to the bulb and back to the jack. And then plugged it back in like that. And it is now charging 100% off of the actual charger. As you can see, light is now red. So hopefully this helps someone to get a discharged battery back online. I will have to see once it's fully charged, if it works, if it still has capacity. But as of right now, this battery that was not charging and the light was green is now charging. So hopefully this helps somebody.